guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I have my easy box braid tutorial I'm starting off with three day old hair I washed I blow dried and I have braided it for a half wig that I wore so the front is straightened but it did get sweated out from the heat because you know summer and I'm starting off with a small section of my hair and then I'll be Brushing it out, um, I thought this was how I was going to tackle my whole head with sectioning and braiding and everything, but I decided to start with half up, half down, so I parted it with my thumbs and I put it up. So I parted again with my thumbs just because your girl is reckless, you know? And I'm gonna part straight down and about almost two inches in hair and I'll be using the model model trio pack jumbo braid in the color number two and this is really good braiding hair um and now i'm just measuring how long i wanted it i really liked the obnoxious length of it how it naturally was so i'm i'm gonna roll with it the first thing i'm doing is obviously taking the little braid out they had and i'm taking about a one inch section of the hair and pulling the ends to taper it and by doing so, it'll create more of a nicer end to the braid rather than a blunt cut. And as for the hold, I'm using this 24 hour edge control extreme firm hold by Even New York. And I'm putting that around my hair and then twisting the middle of the weave, wrapping that around the section of my hair, then pulling really tight and I'm using my hair as the third part of the braid, like the third piece, and I start braiding. You wanna make sure that you do it really tight and just really pay attention to how tight that you do it because if you don't, you'll end up with a low braid and then you'll have to redo it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, it was kinda low on sitting on my scalp so I just redid it and now I'm just um, braiding it down. So again another section and I really wanted to get detailed with this so you guys saw what I did. Um, again this was my first time doing box braids on myself but I really wanted to show it and um, show that you can do it too. Um, so this way you get a better view of how I'm braiding it and how it, you know, how it goes. <laughs> so once I get to the end of my hair, um, you want to take an equal amount from each of the weave sections, so each of the braiding sections, and create a new section that um, aligns with the end, the ends of your hair. And you want to make sure it's seamless and so it doesn't look too really raggedy um, by the time you're done with the braid, like you don't see a clear distinction of your hair ending in the weave. That's really annoying. <laughs> So now, as you can see, I'm moving on to the side of my hair and just deciding how the braids are going to sit and how I want them to look. Um, so yeah, we're adding the edge control, um, another one inch section of hair. And getting to twist. So you can see I grab my hair with my middle finger, I twist the left weave part under and then that's how I start the braid so that I just braid down complete the braid and again you want to make sure that you're braiding really tight so you don't run into um, any loose issues like I ran into it a few times so 
So for each braid, it took about five minutes to complete the braid, um, just because it was so long. And yeah, but I just took my time because I did want the braids to look nice. So what I found easy for me is to um, kind of bite the braid as I move down so it's not putting, putting as much tension and pull on my scalp as braiding it for my teeth is. I don't know if that makes sense but you can see it just it doesn't hurt honestly if I do it in my mouth rather than straight from the braid all the way down. And also you want to make sure that you stay at a decent price so the braids do look cohesive and just check after a while of braiding see how it looks if you need to stop and go back it's better to stop and go back in small increments rather than start the whole thing over As you can see from my edges I get real nitty-gritty and even part that a little bit and make sure to include it in the section with the edge control because we do want it tamed and looking real nice Are their dogs really cuddly? Or if you have a chihuahua, how are they? Cause she like can't be alone. Like ever. So as I move, so as I move closer to the crown of my head and actually work on the crown of my head. I'm really paying attention to the parts and how the parting looks. And I even use a comb, like what? <laughs> and section it off because this is part that really matters, especially when you wear it down, you wanna see nice clean lines if you care about that. If you don't, you know, do what your heart pleases. Like I said, I really wanted to make sure that 
um, the parts were good so I can part it any which way I wanted. And if I were to redo this hairstyle, which I will be, I will go smaller parts and thicker sections of hair just to really get that jumbo braid going. Now moving on to the ends of the hair because they did unravel as I was braiding and just finishing those off and I did it as best as I possibly could. As you can see, some of them are still unraveled but it's fine. And now I'm dipping my hair into water that I boiled for 15 minutes and then I sat it down and let it sit for about five minutes before dipping my hair in and I just split it into two sections and dipped each section about halfway up to really lock in those braids and that's it you guys thanks for watching